from this data set I'm gonna build an uh, actual versus target chart here in Excel so basically I'm gonna use two informations the first one is the actual value and then second one is my target value and why should I just build the chart here in Excel instead of just using the data set itself to look for my result to look for my data for example because a chart in Excel can focus on more in the result itself so it's much more easier to see the result when you have the chart in Excel instead of just analyze a bunch of columns and a bunch of rows for example so let's start here understand the data set that i have and then we're gonna focus on on the chart actual versus the target chart so basically in my chart i'm gonna need to build the chart with the actual value and then i'm gonna set the goal the target value we're gonna just using these two informations within one single chart here in excel from this data set that i have here in this data set is basically a order report where I have the date, the inspection, SKU, the product, category, quantity, order, shelf location, and then the order region. Uh, here I have the order total, okay? So the first thing is to understand the data set. You don't need to have the same data set as I have here, for example, you can have a uh, different with different values, more rows or, or columns, it doesn't matter, okay? Now the, what you're gonna do here is just create a new sheet to insert and to build my target versus actual value chart. Let me just click here in this plus sign here, uh, double click it. Now I'm gonna rename it, for example, chart, enter, okay. I want to build a chart based on the months, how much I sold in each one of the months that I have here in my data set. So to start here, I want to organize my data set with more conspicuous values. So for example, instead of just using a bunch of rows and a bunch of columns let me just use in here only the informations that i'm gonna need to use in my chart so for example i'm gonna use the months january february and so on so let me just select these two cells here click hold and drag down to the december okay now i need here the total that i just sold in the january month for example the first information in this first cell that i have here and then i need to know how much i sold in the february month and then in March and so on. To make sure it's possible and instead of doing it manually, I can use the sum if function here in Excel. However, before we just use the sum if function, I need to make sure because the sum if function, we need to just use a criteria within the sum if function. And my criteria is to sum not all the values, all the orders, the values of the orders that I have. However, to sum, to summarize, just the values that met with the month, January, and then February, and so on. So I need to make sure I have the same date, the same value, January, February, March, in this inventory report too. And as I'm seeing here, I do not have this information. Uh, of course, I have here the date, and I have January 1st, uh, 2 of January, day 4 of January, for example, However, I do not have the specific the month here. So I need to find a way firstly to extract just the month from this date that I have here. And I can make it easily just using the text function here in Excel. So let me show you. I can use here this J column that I have, the first blank column, and then equal sign text function. Let me double click it, one, two, okay. Now the first thing the text function just is asking me is the value. What is the value? that I need to use here, that I want to use here, is my first date. So let me just select it, comma, and now he's asking me what is my the format of the text. So open quotations mark, and I want to extract just the month of this date that I have. So MMM, three times the letter M, and then I can close quotations mark, close parentheses, enter. Now I have here just the return, the result of January, because this first date here uh, corresponded to the January month. So this is why I got here the result, Jan, for example. I can click, hold, and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function, or I can even just double click it, one, two, okay. Now I have all the rows with the same function, okay? February, January, and so on. Now I can use here the sum if function to just summarize all, not all the values that make up here the, the order value, however, just the values that correspond that match with the January month, for example. And then I can use it to just sum the values that met 
with the February month, for example. So let me just come back here to the chart sheet and then the cosine sum if function. Let me just double click it. The first thing that the sum if function is asking me is about the range. What is the criteria range that I'm going to use here? It's, it's here in my inventory report and they're going to use the entire J column here. So let me just click here in the J, in the letter J, okay? Now I'm going to use comma and the sum if function is asking me now what is my criteria. Okay, so my first criteria that I'm going to use here in this first row is the January month. Instead of just typing in January, I can select here the cell, January, okay? Now comma again. And now I need to select my sum range. So let me just come back here to the inventory report. And I'm going to select the sum range is my column G. Let me select the entire column G. I'm going to press enter. And here we go. Now we got the correct result. $107,000 sold in January, for example. I can make sure I have the same uh, function to all the rows. Just click, hold, and drag down. Now we got all the results that we need to build our actual versus target chart. However, just one information that is missing here is the target. What is my target here? What is my goal? So I can just uh, insert here a goal and to make it dynamic, I can make all these cells here below this main cell here just equal to the cell above. Okay, so let me just first uh, insert here the, the goal that is 125,000, for example. So with the company so 135,000 in the first month, uh, it's okay because it's the goal. Uh, I know that is many different situations. So for example, maybe in the company that you're working for, uh, the goals can change from month to month. However, here I'm gonna use the same goal for all the months that I have. And to make it more dynamic, I can just use equal sign and then select the cell above, enter. Okay, now all the cells, click hold and drag down, it's gonna just mirror, let's say the way, just cope the result that I have here in this first cell, just cope the value. So if I change to 100,000, for example, enter, all the cells just update for me. Okay, now I can select the values in the column B and in column C and make sure I can click it here in the home tab and put it, everyone here in with the, the dollar sign. Okay, now I can select these two values that I have, the first column where I have the categories, the second column where I have my actual value and then my third column where I have my target value. Select everything. I can click here now in the insert tab and then I can select the chart that I'm going to use. I'm going to use here, for example, on a, a column chart. So let me just select this first option and I can see here that my actual versus target, target chart is already done. However, of course, I can make some change in the layout and in the design of this chart to make it more pleasant, more, let's say, pretty to make a presentation, to use it in a presentation or in a report or in a dashboard. So let's change some, some points here of the, the chart. Let's start here with the title. I'm going to click and delete this, this, this title here. And uh, another thing that I'm going to do, uh, as you guys can see, I have two series here. Series one, that is this column in blue, and series two, that is this column here in orange. I can just change the name itself of the series that I have here down below. And of course, I can just adjust the position of the columns too. So let me start here with the series. I can see that the orange ones are my target because they are equally in the same position, in the same height, let's say that way. Okay, so this is the, this is the target, of course. Let me just, for example, click with the right click here in the chart and then I go here to select date. With this new pop out that's appear for me, the series one, I'm gonna click here in edit it and I'm gonna change the name for, for example, uh, actual values, values, actual values, or total sales, or something like this, for example. So let me just change here. Uh, Total sales. Enter. Now this series two, I can edit it to and put it in the name for let's say go or target target for example. Okay, okay again. Now it's more clearly what is we talking about here in the chart. The orange one is the target and the blue one is the total sales. One more thing that I can do here is instead of just make the charts apart from each other, let's say the way I can overlap in the charts. So for example, overlap in the column. So I can, for example, make this orange one here, orange column, that is my target, just behind my blue column. 
So I can just, of course, increase the thickness a little bit and make my target a little bit thicker. That way, even though my target is behind my total sales, I can still see it because it's larger, it's thicker than the total sales. Uh, how can I do it? Let me just double click here in the orange column, for example. With this new window that is going to be for you, you can series overlap, you can make it uh, 100%, for example, 100%, because that way you can just overlap the two channels. And the gap width, you can make it in, let's say, let's say 150. And even though I just put the, the gap width, let's say, in 50, I can see that the both columns are changed in the thickness, let's say that way. However, I need just the orange one to change the thickness. How can I do it? Uh, we can. We need to make some little trick to make it possible. However, let me just stick here with uh, the gap width in the 150, let's say. And before we just make the orange one a little bit thicker than the blue one, I can. I need to just make the orange one behind the total sales. So let me just right click in the chart again and I go here to select date. I need to change this position. So instead of I have the, the target below the total sales, I'm going to make it above the total sales. So let me click here in the target and I'm going to click here in this upper arrow to move it up. Okay. Now, okay. Now we can see that my target is just behind my total sale. Now let me just select the target Okay, so just the target column is, is highlighted. Now we can go here to border, for example, solid line. And then I can just increase, let's say, the width of the line. Uh, the bigger you got here, you're going to see that the charts increase. So let's make it in 10, for example, or even thicker. Let's say 15. 15 is good. And one more thing that I can do here, instead of using this join type round, I can make it, uh, let's say, bevel, for example, or even meter. Okay, meter is, is better. And I can change the color. Let's say I'm going to pick here a gray color. This can be this here, this dark 25%. And I'm going to make sure the border and the fill color is, is, is match. So the solid fill, we're going to use the same color, the same tonality of the gray. Okay, so, okay. And uh, maybe it's a good idea to instead of use this gap width in 150, I'm gonna make it a little bit higher, like for example, uh, 250. Yeah, okay, I think it's good. Or even let's make it in 200 and 200, okay, 200, enter. And I'm gonna just in the border instead of using 15, I'm gonna use 20, for example, 20 or even lower, less than that. 10, okay, 10 is good. Now we can select here the blue column and the total sales, huh? and then I go here to fill, uh, solid fill for example, and I can change it to, to red. It's good now. Now I can close here this window, and basically we're done. Of course, we can still make some adjustments here in the design and layout. So, for example, one thing that I, that I always like to do in the spreadsheet is click here in the view tab, and then I go here, grind lines. I'm gonna just read it off this grind lines because that way. We can have more uh, clean look here in this spreadsheet. And as we have already the chart here in the screen, we don't need to use the data set anymore. So let me just click, hold and drag down the chart just here towards my data set. We can increase a little bit the size of the chart. And just one more thing that we can do here before we're done is just click here in this vertical values axis, double click it. And instead of just having these big gaps here between one value and another, I can just make it uh, just feel a little bit more. So let's say, Instead of it change from 50 to 50, I can change it to, let's say, 20,000 to 20,000. Let me just press here, enter. Now we have a more precise data in our chart. And let me just, the last thing here, click in the chart, format. I'm gonna shape line. I'm gonna use, let's say, no outline, shape effects, shadow. I'm gonna use here, shadow. So this chart here can be very useful to you when you need to just show your goals and if you reach or not the goals. And you can also show, of course, the actual versus the targets in your reports, in your presentations, in your dashboards in Excel, for example. I really hope this chart can help you out. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. And as every day has a new video, I see you tomorrow.